Hi, and welcome to the new PubMed Search Basics. This video will cover how to do a basic search in the new PubMed, how to use some of the available search filters, and how to see additional details about your search. Remember to access PubMed from the library's website in order to be able to see our links to the full text of articles. For this tutorial, we'll be doing an example search on physical therapy for traumatic brain injury. To start out, I'll do a basic search with all of those terms by typing them into the search bar. Make sure you check your spelling before you run your search because PubMed won't correct your errors. We have about 2,000 results. Before we start using any filters or adjusting our search, let's take a look at the details of how our search was interpreted by PubMed. Click on Advanced under the search bar to see your search history. Under History and Search Details, click on the arrow to expand the search details. This section shows you what PubMed did behind the scenes to make your search more sophisticated. For each term, PubMed located a relevant subject heading and included a few alternate combinations of the terms. This automatic mapping worked well for these terms, but for some topics, this mapping might pull in terms that are not relevant. So it's a good idea to check these details for your searches if you see a lot of irrelevant articles in your results. Let's go back to our results now. On the left side of the screen are a series of filters we can use to narrow down our results. I'd like to find the most recent literature, so I'm going to limit the publication date. Here we have one, five, or 10 years. We can also set a custom range by using this results by year bar at the top of the list of filters. I'm gonna choose five years for this example. Anytime you click on something in this list of filters, the filter will be activated. Those filters will stay in place until you clear them by clicking them again on the list or clicking on clear all at the top of the list of results. Just using that one filter removed half of our results. If I want to narrow it down even further, I could limit to a specific age group or study type. Some of the study type filters appear here automatically and there are additional filters available that you can add. To see more of the study type filters, as well as other filters such as age or language, click on the additional filters button. You can see that there are a large number of different study types that you can add to your filters list. For today, I'm going to go to the age filter and select some of the age groups that I'd like to have showing in my list of filters. You can always come back to this page later to customize the list of filters that you have available. To apply the filter, just click on the one that you'd like to use. If you would like to view the abstract of any article, just click on the title. Here you'll see the abstract as well as the yellow Find It button which will connect us to the full article. If you scroll down, you'll see a list of similar articles beneath the abstract. There's also a button on the right-hand side to generate a citation for the article. If you prefer to see the abstracts on the results page as you're scrolling through, you can go up to display options and change the format from summary to abstract. Those are the basics of searching in PubMed. I hope this tutorial has made you more confident in using this database effectively.